Right, these are all the bits that you're going to need to put together to make the radio controlled mark. Okay, before I start um, assembling all the sub assemblies, I'm just going to check a couple of things that make sure that these uh, sub assemblies fit into the main body. This is the one for the winch assembly, and it has a little locating lug at the back, and then there's uh, space here for a bolt to hold it in place. So I'm just going to make sure. Yep, that's now in place and the bolt is lining up with the hole so I'm happy with that and the this is the lid for the anchor well <coughs> which will go in and is located by three knobs now this is tight but it was actually very tight when I started looking at it so I had to do a little bit of work on it um, just to a little bit of filing down with a small file to um, get rid of the ridge that you get with 3D printing when um, it changes layers. There's always a little ridge. And in this case, there was a ridge inside this, which needed a little sanding down and a ridge on this, which needed a little sanding down and then it fitted fine. So that's not a problem. Now, the last thing that's inside is this bracket here, which is for the electrics. There'll just be a bit of Velcro hook and loop st stuck on this and then this will be put inside. So I'm just going to make sure that this, oh, yep. Straight in, excellent. So that's now fitted in there and it's it's not, it only held in by friction so that you can lift it out again if you need to do any maintenance. So uh, the last two things are probably the most important. These are the two cars that the motor mounts go into and uh, we'll just check that um, <coughs> excuse me that they slide in and are nice and flush now again I've had to do a little bit of work on these because uh, there was a small ridge around this which needed filing off and um, the, it is quite important to get rid of all the um, support uh, from the 3D printing that is in here. And again, that was just scraped out with a chisel and various bits and uh, small files. So, so those now fit. They'll actually they'll eventually be held in by some machine screws down through that. Okay, so that's the body ready. And we'll move on to the next task. Almost forgot one task that has to be done. We have a, a bracket here that the battery will sit in. This is a 3800 milliamp battery and it sits in there. And if you look at the brackets for that, there are a couple of holes in it. And the idea is that we can put a little bit of elastic in there to hold that battery down. But trust me, it's much easier to do that now than it will be when everything else is in place. So we're just going to this this is um, a little bit of bungee just tie a knot on the end of it a bit fiddly uh, I can't remember how thick this is it's probably only this right uh, yes this is three millimeter bungee cord and we need a little bit to go over so we just put it through here and put a knot in the end of it in a little bit of hard work yep that will be fine I'll turn up there
Yep, that's perfect. I'll cut that off. Ah. And I'll now do the other one. But that's it done. Okay, next job is to fit the heat inserts into the body, etc., so that we can then screw our stuff onto it. Now, I very strongly recommend, if you have them, buying one of these uh, tips for your soldering iron that these things fit into. They heat up very quickly, but the idea behind it is that's ready to go, and it only takes a couple of seconds to heat that up, and the heat insert sits in. Oh, not quite down. And that's it in place. Couldn't be simpler. Um, so I'm now going to go on and do the rest of these. And there are quite a number to be put into the smaller ones for the three mil bolts to be put into these things here. So I'm just going to carry on and uh, get these done. Right, so that's the um, that's all the heat inserts in place in both the main body and in the S drive casings. So on to starting to put the uh, sub assemblies together.